Let's take a look how to make this liquid text effect real quick here on Photoshop. This is my artboard size, paint it black, select the type tool, add the text, scale it. By the way, I went with the Akira Expanded Super Bold font. I also gonna decrease the distance in between the letters. There you go, put it at the center. Now let's go to Filter, Blur, select Motion Blur, Convert Smart Object, make sure that the angle is on 90, distance is 45, click OK. Right click on the text again, convert a smart object again. And now we're gonna warp this text, so press Ctrl T. And as you can see, the bounding box is gonna show up on the whole page and we don't want that. So let's double click on the thumbnail of the Panther text. It's gonna open up the blurry text. And here let's select the crop tool, press and hold Alt, and we're gonna crop it. So only the text is gonna be here, double click. And we're gonna go to File, Save. And this way is gonna save it into the original tab. So let's go to the first tab. And now we can press Ctrl T. And now the bounding box is surrounding the text only. And now let's go up here, click on the warp mode. Let's go to warp and switch it to arc. And here with this little square, you can bring it down or bring it up and warp it. And I'm gonna position it somewhere here. I'm also gonna add another blur, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and decrease it just to be a little bit of blur. I'm gonna go with 3.0, click OK. And from here, let's go to the filter, liquify. Make sure that these are your settings, size on 700, density 54, pressure 76. And I'm gonna go to the stem of the letter P and go down here and just drag it a couple of times until it's going to stretch it and stretch it all the way down here. I'm also gonna do the same with the rest. Make sure that you don't stretch it from the center of the text because it's going to melt it too much. There you go, I think I got it. And now we're gonna create that wavy liquid effect and I'm gonna start from the stem of the letter P and I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna start from the right and go to the left. I think this is great, let's click OK. Now let's collapse this layer, press Ctrl J two times to create two more duplicates. So this way we've got three duplicates. I'm gonna uncheck the first one, let's double click on the second one. Let's go and select the color overlay, make it orange, and also check the outer glow. And this is going to be pink. Make sure the blend mode is on linear dodge add. You also can increase the size a little bit more, click OK. Now let's select the bottom layer with the text, double click. Let's select the color overlay, and I'm gonna make this purple, click OK, and click OK. Now let's go down to the Gaussian blur of this layer, double click, and increase the radius until it's gonna look nice and glowy, click OK. Now let's go and make the first layer visible, double click on it, and let's go and activate the gradient overlay. I'm gonna click on the gradient. Let's go and double click on the first handle. I'm gonna go with a strong blue, click OK. Let's click here to add another handle. I'm gonna make this black, click OK. Press and hold Alt, drag the blue handle into the opposite direction, click the release. I'm gonna add another one here. I'm gonna make this orange, click OK. Add another one, I'm gonna make this perp, click OK. And the last one, make it black, click OK. You also can rotate the angle if you want. For me, minus 22 is good. Now let's go and activate the setting. I'm gonna go to the color, make it blue, click OK. I'm gonna switch multiply to linear dodge add, opacity bring it up, countdown I'm gonna switch it to this one, increase the distance and the size, make it soft. I'm gonna make this 60 and the distance somewhere around 100 and you also can play around with the angle. Now let's go to bevel and emboss, increase the depth all the way to 1000, I'm gonna decrease the size increase the softness, gotta go with sixth. And let's go to gloss contour and I'm gonna change it to this one. And with the angle, I'm gonna go with 127 and the other one is gonna be five. And check it out, it starts to look pretty badass. Great, I also gotta go to the highlight mode, change it to yellow, click OK, increase. And now but least, let's activate the inner shadow, make it black. Click OK. I'm gonna decrease the distance to zero. Choke is gonna be somewhere down to 25 and also increase the size so we get rid of that sharp anti-aliasing. And then let's click OK. Press and hold Shift, select all the layers, right click, convert to smart object. Now let's go to the filter, sharpen, select on sharp mask. And I gotta go with these settings. You also can decrease the contrast a little bit more. Click OK. Now let's go to the filter again, noise, add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome. I gotta go with nine. 
click OK. And mainly this is how you make it. Thanks for watching.